Konnichiwa, everybody. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about a fireworks plugin called Tables. Now, if you are a fireworks designer, such as I am, and you use fireworks all the time, and you work with a lot of tabular data, this is going to be a really cool plugin that uh, you're really going to be excited about. Now, to find this plugin, go to johndunning.com slash fireworks slash bout slash tables. And as always, please check out my blog and uh, useyourfred.com and uh, go check out Adobe Fireworks panels and give me a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, so this plugin is uh, pretty cool. Let's go to Fireworks and test her out. So I already installed the plugin and the extensions, uh, went to tables, pulled up the panel, and I just filled in a few different pieces of data. So I have uh, a column for artists, a column for album, and a column for if they rock or not in uh, my house, hell yes, uh, my favorite album, this guy's gone out. So if I just select all this data, and I go to the tables panel, and I click create, BAM! I got a table. Now these have a few different colors and styles that I already uh, put in here prior to uh, this demo, but let's, uh, let's see how we change this up. So I select some stuff, I say, um, okay, I want the uh, header color to be totally different, right? So I'll go into columns and rows. Now I already have this selected as header. And I'll say, I want the header color to be, I don't know, um, let's do blue. And I'm going to click update. Bam! I got the header color is blue. Now I'll go ahead and I'll select the uh, copy. Now I'll just give it a different color. Make it bold. And we might do some additional things in here. Say I want to uh, select the odd and even rows, right? I want the odd rows to be a uh, lighter gray, and even rows to maybe be a um, a lighter shade of blue to go with the uh, the old blue that I got going on here, right? I'll do that, and I'll click update. Bam! And I got my table the way I uh, I want it so far. So you can see how pretty cool this is. Now, say you have a large amount of data that you want to import from a uh, Excel file or something like that. That's where uh, I think probably a lot of the magic comes in for a lot of people. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna open up a new document, whatever by whatever, and I'm gonna import that data. So we'll go in, we'll say, insert a new table from a text file. And this lets you do a uh, TXT file or a, um, a CVS file, or excuse me, a C, uh, yeah, yeah, CVS. I always get that mixed up with the drugstore, but uh, a CSV. There we go. So let's go ahead and import that in. Open. And look, bam, we got a table already formatted the way that we had pre styled, or what's already in here uh, currently. So if we want, we could go in here and change this up too. So you could see how cool this is and how easy this works with uh, just a little bit of a um, change in colors and styles around. Pretty simple. Cool plugin, um, I say go ahead and download it. It's totally free. Again, it's at johndunning.com slash fireworks slash about slash tables. And he has a cool um, little uh, movie in here that explains how to use it. You know, of course, a lot more detail than uh, what I have, but read it, download it, it's really cool. Anyway, uh, I hope you like this entry and uh, give me a shout out.